Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm here with baby Gianna. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And what else should you be doing? Oh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Um, so I'm just sitting here, I just wanted to, uh, I really just wanted to sit on a hold of baby. <laughs> you know, that's, and sometimes it's like, I really don't want to do the standing up videos where I'm hovering over the crib and talking to you guys. I really just like sitting down, but it, it takes a little bit more time because I have to move my lights over and, you know, I just, it just takes more time to do the sit down videos and right now time is not on my side. Um, a lot going on, but we're, we're. We're working through it. Um, if you have not checked out Gianna's first video, you know, please do that. And then I think I did a second video of her. Um, I have played around with a little bit of eyebrows on her to see how I want to, you know, to give me an idea what coloring as far as hair goes and stuff. So she has a, um, she has a, she has a blended color hair in her eyebrows. Um, light brown and, and darker brown. Um, just because she's she's more of a lighter skin tone. And I didn't want them to be too, too dark. So, so yeah. Um, so, that that's changed. Um... She still needs her final touches. Um, I just haven't had the time to put her back on the table. Um, not really in that much of a rush until I actually finish rooting this next baby, which is a cuddle baby that will be available soon. I'll have the information as soon as I see what he or she looks like with their whole head rooted and after it's cut and styled then I can kind of say hey this baby could be easily a girl a boy or just a boy originally it was supposed to be just a boy but you know with hair hair changes things a lot of times and um so we will play it by ear and see how that goes um the next event will be actually uh me deciding who goes on the rooting table next. I originally said that she would go straight to the rooting table next, but um, I'm debating on that. I may put uh, my last color baby that I painted, Nobles. No, not Nobles. Noby. Noby on the table. Oh, I mean, in my lap to root so that. Um, she may she may become available she may become available so um i'm gonna you know definitely announce the next few babies i'm not gonna like announce them ahead of time just because i i understand as a collector too we kind of you know just want to not miss out and i don't want to feel the pressure of a lot of people waiting for you know a pacific baby so i rather just you know finish them that way they're done and when people see them and they like them and if that if they want to bring that baby home they they can um i sometimes i think you know showing them ahead of time just helps people prepare financially like okay let me get my coins together because this one gonna come up and i might want to buy it type scenario um Oh my gosh. Sorry. She is um uh, such a pleasure to hold. And I keep rubbing her like like this. I don't know why. She just feels she feels like different to me. I don't know why. She feels like like a like a velvety very velvety smooth. Um so I, I really uh, love 
I just I just love doing that. And um I'm trying not to do it so often, but I keep, you know, I just have to like touch on her. She her silicone feels so nice. That's that's the thing. Um so and even her like her little tummy is 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 not like rock hard for her to have a fat tummy. And I love that. Also, update on Nori. I know you guys are probably like over Nori with her shenanigans. But she's getting color. She's she's tanning. Um, and I found I've been picking out little things and I'm I've got a little basket going for her. Um, you guys might have seen these where I've tried to put it on Piper. But they're very little. They're very little. Um they're premature, uh, up to three pound, and Nori is three pounds. So, and it's it's Winnie the Pooh. It says "Love You," and it's Pooh and Piglet on it, and it's a cream neutral color. My friend, my bestie, <laughs> go best friend, go best friend, go. Um, no, my one of my friends, uh, Summer, sent this. To me for Jasper but they were too big for Jasper they kind of like bundle up on him I'm thinking they're gonna be like the perfect size for Nori though I put them on Piper because Piper can fit it too so I'm thinking that Nori is gonna be able to fit it really good and then there's other ones she know how much I love Pooh so and there's, like I said, there's a few other ones. I just seen one in my room somewhere in one of those drawers. So I got to pull it out and then um, put it in the basket with, along with some other stuff. I do have some more colorful clothes for her too. Um, little two-piece diaper covers, all that little stuff that I had for a girl birdie that I had. That was... 14 inches um luckily even though she's bigger than the birdie sculpt a little bit they wasn't that much smaller so she can fit those so this this is really cute so I, I can't wait to put her in this I think this is going to be the first one because it's got Winnie to pull all over and it's, of course it's got love Love You and Piglet and Pooh Bear wrote on it. And it actually got their pictures. I don't know. You guys can't see it that good. But y'all see it with her on her little pictures. And because of her head shape, I'm not going to be, like, stressing over if she wear a hat or not. So, um, what I'm going to do is make a special effort. Sometime when I know the baby's going to be ball ball for possibly a little while or whatever. Or if they're going home to their mommy bald for them to go root it um I used to do it to every single baby but I won't lie some of my babies I haven't did it as heavily as I used to like she still has Motlin in her head and she has uh, she has Motlin she has veining in her in in her head even though I know she's gonna get hair um I still like to paint my baby's head the top of their head um, so, I am going to, uh, I'm going to, her eyebrows got to be trimmed and plucked and shaped more and all that great jazz. So don't, don't pay that no mind. I know this one look kind of thick. Over here looks kind of on the wide, thick side, but her, her, uh, brows are going to be like, Thick but fine the way they lay they like kind of just lay into her face is pretty cool I was debating if I want to seal them now sometimes I seal them where they can't move and then which is a lot of people do apply lashes and they seal them down um I just root mine I have sealed them down in the past but I actually been liking them not sealed so I don't know if I'll seal, her, seal hers or not. But I thought about it because of the way they lay so nice. Um, what was I going to say? 
I think I, I was going to tell you guys something about Nori. Gosh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I will model Nori head like really, really good. Um, so that when she wears her little outfits, is she could just wear a headband or whatever. Um, don't know if it will show here. But her neck wrinkles so nicely. It's so crazy. Um, I have some pictures and you can see it wrinkling. Um, and I'll post them on Instagram for you guys to see. But... Yeah, like I, I mean, like she'll fall and stuff, but like I said, she's, she's like the perfect, perfect size, perfect soft. She's kind of almost the size of my Vegas and Phoebe, but she's, she's definitely like more petite. Like she's a, um. She's their length, and she got, like, thickness like them, but she's more petite, except for her fat feet and fat hands. Her hands are a little fat, but not, I think her hands are, like, like this hand, I like this hand a lot. Um, I think her hands are, like, a good thickness. Um, her feet are right there at the border of them being a little too fat but they're not too fat they're they're still good like this one is not as fat too but um yeah yeah but they're a good size for shoes and I look I actually she actually will, would be for me she would have been a baby that I would keep like socks on, booties on, because I like how they fit on her feet. She has a good size. So, huh. all right, I think I gotta go. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys other than the fact that, um, it's her little thing. I like to. I like her in PJs too. So she's gonna be a all season baby. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Look, I don't know if you guys can see, but basically, water spilled out her mouth. Because when I did her eyebrows and eyelashes, I rinsed her face off and water got in her mouth. And I'm glad I did that because water was sitting in her mouth. Don't want to leave water sitting in her mouth. But, and when I turned her over, she like drooled on my arm. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> she's real. No, um, but... She's she's what I call an all-purpose baby. Like she looks good in wintery clothes or like long sleeves, sleepers. She would be a baby I would put in that. Um, but she also has really cute little legs and arms. So she would also be really cute in like summery rumpers and dresses. And because her legs are long she will look good in dresses. That was one of the problems I had with one kid. I love the chunkiness of it and stuff, but for me, the legs were a little bit on the shorter side. And when I would try to put her in like dresses, she looked funny or, um, well, pants. Sometimes looked funny because her legs were shorter than the rest of her. So, but she doesn't have that problem. Her legs are pretty long and so that works really good and she looks really cute with a pacifier so when you get tired of seeing her little mouth open with her little tongue you can give her a binky and she just looks so cute so that's that's a, another thing because like I said um most babies 
I've had recently, my babies just are not passive babies. They just don't look good with pacifiers. Um, like Jaden, he he can wear a pacifier and they look okay, but they're he's not a true passive baby. The baby that I would want to just put a pacifier on. This pacifier, I'm gonna have to order me another one because it is um said to be silicone. So I'm gonna order another one because Vegas looks really good with it. But I also want her to have this one too. So I'm gonna get him a passive clip so that he could a neutral passive clip that he could keep his pacifier clipped on him because he looks so cute with, with that pacifier. So but yeah, um yeah, so that's that's that. Um other than that, everybody's doing well. Uh, as far as progress goes, I have, I've never finished my Missy by Natalie Blick. She's like, hmm. She was just breaking into skin tone and I just stopped on her. Um, and then I have, um, Lanny that I'm working on that I kind of just stopped on just now. And... Who else am I working on that I've paused on my reborn side? Um, not many more because I'm not going to be painting as many vinyl babies. That's going to be like for sale just because um, it's getting close to the end of the year. My rooter always stopped rooting for everyone at the end of the year because she she likes to do her personal babies for the Christmas rush and I totally understand it and respect it but I also know it makes no sense for me to rush to do spend my efforts in painting them because they're gonna be bald until probably next year um what else I'm gonna go ahead and paint my awake cuddle baby I think eventually that baby will be most likely available too. I can't hold on to too many more babies right now. A lot going on. Anyway, this is a long video. I don't even know. I didn't do much movement or anything with her. Just holding her. It's just, I think this video is more for me than it is for you guys. I'm sorry. I just needed to just take a moment. I was up kind of late. I spent a lot of time at the hospital yesterday night. Um, whole story, save it for later. Once the storm has passed, I may share it in the chat box or whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on, but we're all good. And I am going to be working today. I did have something scheduled for it to go out, but I don't know if I might have to cancel that since I ended up missing time yesterday. I don't know. Uh, anyway, she's so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with myself? Me and my can't let go abilities. I need to take a class on learning to let go. Mm.